Okay, well, I'm in my kitchen here working on the Steel 026. And the subject of this video is how to install the bearings into the crankcase. I just completed this operation here using my, my oven and the refrigerator. And so I just want to make a quick video kind of detailing, you know, what I did for anyone else who's facing doing this job. I kind of stressed out about this job for a few days, thinking about how I was going to do it. Uh, then I downloaded the, or I, I uh, read the shop manual for the 026. And Steel recommends that you, you heat up the housing and refrigerate or, or chill the bearings. I wasn't sure that was going to work, but sure enough, it worked great. So... You can see over here, I've got some of the parts for my saw. Uh, the bearings, I think I detailed them in another video. They're, they're my little custom-made ceramic, hybrid ceramic. And if you see my other video, what I did was I just took a steel you know, ball bearing, uh, took it apart, took the balls out, and then bought my own silicon nitride ceramic uh, balls and put everything back together. So I was real pleased with how those turned out. And I had two of these. I had one here, one there. And then this is the um, flywheel side bearing here. I took some measurements. So at room temperature, uh, you know, th this bearing was 34.99. Inner diameter, 14.99. When it would, after being in the refrigerator for about 15, 20 minutes, the outer diameter had reduced to 34.96, which gave just enough, uh, you know, reduction there to get it into the race uh, on the crankcase housing. Uh, this is the flywheel side. It was originally 31.99 millimeters. When it was cold, it, was, it reduced down to about 31.97 millimeters. Conversely, I heated up the housings. I uh, wasn't able to heat this one up as much because this particular saw has a plastic uh, oil pump, non-adjustable. I was going to um, I was going to install a, a metal oil pump, but I decided the non-adjustable plastic won't be okay. The problem with that is I had to be a little careful heating up this housing in the oven because obviously I don't want to melt my, my oil pump, yet I need it installed to get the proper... Uh, indexing of the, the bearing here. So on this housing, just to give you an idea that how it reacts to heat, uh, room temperature, the race for the, the bearing was measured at 34.98 millimeters. After bringing it up to about 175 degrees Fahrenheit, which I felt was about max I could do for that plastic oil pump being involved, it increased to 35.01. And then, as we know, the, the bearing was 34.96 when it was cold. So that gave me just enough uh, relief on the interference here to install this. And uh, you have to do it super fast. Uh, the shop manual says, you know, do it quickly, and they're not kidding. Uh, but if you just take it out and then hold it here so you don't impart any heat to the outside with your, your body temperature, uh, you, you have just a split second to kind of pop it in. Uh, I did have my drifts standing by, which they're just sockets. I uh, didn't have to use them. It just clicked right in and bumped up against that uh, oil pump in the back. On this housing, since it's just magnesium and there's no plastic oil pump involved, I brought the temperature of this one up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see my notes here at room temperature. The race for the bearing was 31.96 millimeters. After raising it to 300, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it was 32.02 millimeters. And if we look over here, you can see the cold bearing was 31.97 millimeters. So that gave plenty of clearance. Um, and this one has a, a seat machined into the housing, so it just clicks right in there. And you want to just make sure that you, you put it in the proper direction. So, and here's my Minitoyo caliper. Um, so anyways, that worked pretty well. If you're, if you're doing the same job, that just use that uh, 
oven and refrigerator trick and it, it, it just works like a charm. So, and of course these are the housings I recently painted uh, in, in my uh, other videos there and I'm real pleased with how that uh, forward gray uh, bounce bar paint turned out. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video in case it helps anyone uh, who's working on a saw and having to install those bearings. Uh, like I say, the heating of the housing and installing the, the bearing coal uh, just, just work ideal. So, Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If, uh, as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. Thanks for watching.